Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played yesterday. Now I was playing as black, my open starts off with e4. I went with c6 uh, as always, open goes b4 and now d5. Open takes the pawn and I take back. It's a Karo Khan exchange variation setup. Open plays knight f3 now, I develop the bishop on f5, standard moves. Bishop to e2 was surprising. Generally, we see bishop to d3 coming up so that the dark, the light square bishops are traded off straight away after the queen takes. Uh, but here, uh, since open developed the bishop, I went with e6, modifying the center. Open castles quickly. I play knight to c6. Open plays h3, making sure that the bishop is not annoying and pinning some stuff. Uh, and I developed the dark square bishop to d6 now. Open goes for c3. I put my rook in on the c file, rook to c8, open gets the bishop out onto e3. Pretty solid looking structure from white as well. Uh, I played a6, preventing any pins uh, coming to my knight. Uh, and now open plays a4. I went with h6, open plays a knight to d2. I also developed my knight on f6. So all the minor pieces are developed. All, all I need to do is castle. If required, of course, open gets rook onto c1, and now I place my bishop onto b8. The idea is to put my queen sometime later in the game to c7 or d6, and then I towards this wonderful diagonal with a battery. Uh, open goes for b4, trying to push the pawns from the queen side, and I place my bishop onto e4, attacking the knight. Uh, my idea is if the open does take, I can take back with the knight, and my knight would be more active on e4. Open goes back with the knight onto h2, and in this position, I get my knight onto e7 because I knew a pawn break was coming from there, so I just maneuvered my knight uh, before that. Open plays f3, trying to kick the bishop backwards, which is a blunder, as you see, uh, and I just got my bishop backwards. Uh, I should have ideally played a queen to c7, eyeing this diagonal, and uh, open is kind of stuck what with, with very limited choices what open can do here. Uh, and that would be troublesome for the open. But instead, in the game, I didn't see that coming. I first saved my bishop to g6. Opponent gets the knight on to g4. And now I play my knight to h5, trying to plant it on maybe g3. Open plays pawn forward f4, uh, which allows me to put my bishop on to f3, where I should have been actually placing my knight, attacking the uh, bishop, also now permanently attacking the g3 square with my knights. But I went with the bishop, trying to exchange the knight, open move the knight away, allows me to take control of g3. With my knight, open goes now with rook f3, allowing me to place my knight on to e4. Here open trades, I take back with the bishop, could have taken with the pawn as well, uh, but taking with bishop is equally fine. Open gets the rook on to g3, which allows me to now first of all take the knight, open takes back, and now I place my knight on to f5. Uh, slowly have improved the position of my pieces as always attacking a couple of pieces with my knight now uh, and defending the g7 as well preparing to castle if required otherwise king is pretty much safe right now queen hasn't got a chance to move yet but things look good thanks to the bishop and knight open takes the pawn here which was surprising uh, leaving the knight hanging uh, rook hanging i take it uh, even if open doesn't do that I'm 2.8 ahead, so the best move in the continuation is to anyways give the go down the exchange because anywhere else you place the rook will be bad. Uh, you are just losing the bishop and might end up having a fork as well if you place it on uh, g4 there. So open took here and I take back with my knight. Open gets the bishop active onto h5. I can take here uh, is one option, but open can definitely take back with the queen. And then rook can swing over as well. So I thought, okay, first let me put more safety on my f7 by placing the rook onto c7. Now queen comes in and now I take, open takes back. And now I place my bishop backwards to g6. Not rushing into anything. I can win this game easy. Why to complicate stuff? After queen goes back, I place h5 first. So that once I move my rook away, my, my bishop away, my pawn doesn't go. So... First trying to do that and then placing my rook onto g8 so that in future I have a possible attack onto g2. Open puts the queen in on g3 and now I've just removed my king from there first, firstly. 
uh, trying to sidestep uh, onto safety and then activating all my pieces. Open places bishop to g5. I go with queen e8, just saving the queen there. Open pushes for the pawn forward onto b5, which I take. Open takes back, allows me to plant my bishop now onto e4 with a discover attack from the rook onto the bishop and forward by queen behind it. So now open place h4 so that the bishop is solid. Uh, and now I swayed my queen over to a8. The idea is to now get into the opponent's domain from the other side of the board. Open goes with queen f4. Uh, I just move my king so that the uh, pawn is discovered, defended with my rook. Open place pawn forward, c4. And I go with a queen to a2, attacking the pawn, also threatening a checkmate on to g2. With thanks to the bishop participating in that. So queen takes pawn will be a checkmate. Open sees that coming, places the queen on to g3, allows me to take the pawn. And now so the side steps with the rook onto f1. And now I push the pawn. This pawn is very tough to be stopped. Uh, I first gave a check there, side step, took a pawn as well. I can anyway push this whenever I want, so not a problem. Open gets the queen onto f4. I bring back my bishop onto f5, leaving no chance of sacrifices happening with the queen as well, just in case. Playing purely solid gameplay, and now I'm willing to promote it. And in this position, Open's time ran out. Otherwise, it would have been a slow death anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.